welcome and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing y'all how i make my press on nails last three weeks this is my first time doing a press on set in years but like since quarantine started all the nail shops been closed i found these really affordable nails at walmart i think they were like nine dollars i'm honestly just going to start y'all by kind of pampering my nails and i'm not going to talk too much i'm just kind of let you guys watch for yourself <laughs> So, to start off, I'm going to be giving myself a mini manicure. I literally just use soap and water just to kind of pamper myself and to act like I'm in the salon. Now, I'm taking some of my Shea Sugar Scrub just to get rid of some of the dead skin and just to soften my hands up, y'all. And I just miss being in somebody's salon chair, honestly. Um, take your time during this process. Girl, cater to yourself. You deserve it. Now that my nails are dry, and my nails are ugly low key, y'all. Like I bite my nails, and sometimes the skin—I think it's called your cuticles or something like that—it peels sometimes on my hands. So I couldn't find a cuticle pusher, so I just kind of used what I seen another YouTuber use, which is the bobby pin. It's ghetto, I know. I'm in the ghetto, but it worked, and it'll work for y'all too. Um, so. Just kind of use it to push the cuticles back. It helps your it helps your nails last a little longer. If you have to file, clip, and shape your nails, just do the whole shebang so you, your nails can be popping. <laughs> this is just us prepping our nails so that the press-ons can last the full three weeks we want them to look pretty and look as natural as possible <music> I know we all can tell that I'm not a nail tech, so I'm not going to be perfect, but this is what works for me and helps me helps my press-ons last a little longer. I'm going to be, I'm going to use some of the rubber alcohol that I found like in the bathroom or something to just get rid of the excess oil on my nails and my cuticles. <laughs> And I know even though the nail sets come with glue, I'm going to be using the Kiss Max Speed Glue. It honestly dries faster, y'all. And I think Kim Kardashian uses it too. Um, next, you're going to go through the nails and kind of pick what nail fits your nails. This was the hardest part for me, honestly, because if you kind of pay attention to my fingers, my hands, more my fingers kind of lean to the side. So... It was kind of difficult to just to shape them up, but you have to pay attention to notice it. Oh, well, y'all, y'all gonna see how I opened the packet and I seen that it had a foul and I like, I think that was a cuticle pusher or something like that in the packet and I was too blue because I had used that bobby pin.
to do is to put the nail put the glue on your nail why can't i talk today so <laughs> next you're just gonna put the glue on your nail don't put a lot just honestly put a dab of glue because you don't want the glue to be running all through your finger and your fingers be sticky and we don't want that um, after you put the glue on your fingers, just press the nail along and like hold your nail for like 30 seconds. And then after that, the rest is kind of explanatory. I wouldn't lie, y'all. I started getting excited. It started looking like I just came from the nail shop. I started feeling myself. And I only had one thing, like one set done. <laughs> I'm gonna put on some lotion y'all because your girl be ashy sometimes and I ain't wanna be ashy for y'all and you can't walk around with pretty hands and you ashy <laughs> I used like some oil, random oil I found in my room, and I just rubbed it on my cuticles so they'll look moisturized and the set can look bomb. 
thank y'all for watching i had fun making this video and i think i'm going to be buying more of these nails i grab my amazon right now looking for sets i had way too much fun doing this and i probably won't be back to a nail shop no time soon thank y'all for tuning in and i'll see y'all next video